Are you ready to battle fear of falling, muscle loss, maybe problems with balance and chronic pain? You're at the right place. Welcome to Elion's Joy today. It is so good to see you. I'm glad that you're here with me. And we're going to talk about just some things that we talked about two weeks ago, kind of part two of what to do about strength and what to do about chronic pain issues and what to do about loss of balance or fear of falling at home. So today we're just going to go through some more exercises that we started with two weeks ago. I couldn't do it last week part two because I had the wonderful Marie on uh, my show as a guest and she talked about face yoga and good stuff to keep it all lifted, right? To keep it all in shape. And if we don't take care of our face, and those muscles, then we're not really truly exercising. We do the entire body. Mind, body, spirit is always the theme of all my shows. So today I'm going to talk a little bit about body things, right? And it will always relate to a good mood, good mindset, because if we are exercising, I always say, put your body back on. That will help so much with stress and with anxiety and with overall pain and all those things that we are battling with on a daily basis. So welcome to Elios Joy again. So glad you're here. Let's get started today. We're talking a little bit about strength and balance training and some flexibility that we can do at home. I always like to provide things that we can do at home. Not everybody has time all the time to go to the gym and we don't always talk about or have, have you know, the, the, the ability to go there for an hour or an hour and a half and stay there even if we have time to do a little bit. So I like to always introduce just maybe some 15, 20 minute things that you can do everywhere at home, in the office, at work, during your walk and grab things that you can use that don't have to be all too complicated. Grab things that you can use and, and, and use that also while you're exercising, while you're walking. Just simple things that you can do and grab at home. So I like to do that because it makes it a lot more approachable for everybody. And I use it, of course, a lot in my work, doing pain management and doing stress and anxiety with my patients and with my clients. I have a private practice where I work with exercise on pain management, on helping people with chronic pain, doing all kinds of different things for people to get their strength back, to get their flexibility back. And at the same time, I work with people a lot through mindfulness and meditation techniques on getting that anxiety and stress for a little bit out of our system, right? Sometimes we just need to release and relax of get back into the moment and let go of all the things that we have to deal with in life we get better at it and i provide a lot of those tools so always reach out to me if you need help with that today we're going to talk about just simple things that we can do at home like i said and i like to call that my ser my simple things my effective things so that we can actually see results over time and when i used to work in the exercise fitness health business there was a lot of things that I would do for the good looks and the outside body, right? And having your, your abs and, and your six pack and all that stuff. But nowadays it's more about the internal approach in a sense of what makes me overall feel a lot better. What can I do still at my age, cardio wise, right? I like to call myself a mature adult, right? A little wiser and a little older. What can I do that is actually good for me without, you know, overdoing it and not being able the next day to walk and not being able to get out of bed because that is not the idea anymore. If we are just exercising and doing the things that we love to do or just add a little bit of stuff on to our daily routine at home, then we automatically feel better right? It's a big improvement and a big shield so that we can wear off life and we can better at life and we can get a little bit more ah, balanced overall um, without letting things on the outside world run us ragged and run away with our minds so that we can get a lot of that stress and that anxiety. So we have to battle that. And the best thing is just to feel physically as well, stronger and, and better and a little bit more 
Ah, right? Just have to put that sexy back on, like I call it many times. So I talk about that a lot, but I want to give you some practical things today to do. The last time that we worked, we were working on um, uh, balance exercises with a chair. And we did a lot of fun stuff just to warm up. So I'm not going back there. That was two weeks ago. But you remember just walking in place, just standing and rocking a little bit. Dancing is the best thing that you can do for yourself, for your cardiovascular health. And of course, simple strength training comes next. And we can do that anywhere and everywhere. The benefits overall, improved balance, improved mood, always reducing the risk for injury or the risk of injury doing something else right when you're stronger when you have better balance when you're increasing your flexibility you have less risk of falling and if you fall then it is less the pain the injury is less because you are stronger in in, in, and you are more flexible to so your catching yourself better or you're just kind of like having the ability to catch yourself on your hands or on your arms and so overall of course less risk of falling improved overall performance even in daily tasks i call that like we talked last time about it the main um, basic movements, right? We have to be able to pull, we have to be able to push and twist, we have to be able to pick something up, make a lunge, make a squat when we're falling, make that squat and be able to push yourself back up. And of course, we have to be able to hold our balance and be able to walk with a steady gait. And those are sometimes the most important things that we have to pay attention to. So keep that in mind that we always have to work on those basic movement patterns to be able to incorporate them in our daily daily activities of living and, and just kind of like slow that aging process down. So when we start moving, when we start aging, or when we start getting stronger and more flexible, we slow that aging process down a little bit. So that is very important. So less risk of falling. And of course, we are dealing with blood pressure. You can keep that down. You can keep maybe a little level of your diabetes intact or, or in, in, uh, in, you can have more grip on your diabetes and just feel better overall. And of course, we are uh, talking about better mood and lower your anxiety levels. So overall, I can't say it enough. We got to move. We got to get off the couch and move and do something that we love to do. And if we don't have a lot of time, let's do it at home. And we are all ways having, um, you know, a better outcome if we start. In the beginning, it's difficult for everyone. And we just deal in the beginning with some basic pains and some recovery from getting those muscles back, you know, where they belong. And so we, in the beginning, it's a little uncomfortable. But when you incorporate that in your daily routines, uh, even when you're cooking or when you're standing in the kitchen, I always say, let's try that balance and lift one foot up. Because those are the places that you can really try to uh, work. I have also some really great tools for you today that we're going to work with. So I have a Dyna band, as they call it, or a stretchy band. And those are really easy to take everywhere in your purse. It looks like a great commercial. Take it with you everywhere. will travel. And these things are great for flexibility training, but also for strength training. And I'm going to show you some th simple things today. Then I always want you to have a tennis ball. Lower back pain and the sciatic pain. Always have a tennis ball. You can rub and sit on it. And I'm going to close. I'm going to, I'm going to show you that too. So I always have a stress ball around, not just for rah, anxiety and stress, but just to kind of like keep that hands and those fingers strong, right? So I always have to use that. Oh, this one's kind of like giving me a little air there too. So when, and this is fun. This is my happy one, right? You can get them on Amazon, happy. And you can give them to everybody that you think that can need that. But, um, you know, it's good for your muscles, good for your elbows, hand strength, and good for your grip, of course, in all times. This is one of those play balls that I also, I get everything at a dollar store, right? Or you don't have to go to an exercise store for this. You can get them at Walmart as well, or our basic, our basic uh, little stores where we can get um, um, 
athletic gear, right? But I, I like to keep it cheap because I get it from my studio, I get it from my workplace. I get a lot to give away. So if you have one of those balls, then you can put that against the wall and kind of rub against it. And that feels so good too. You can also do that with a bigger one. And then the last one that I brought today is one of those great little rollers for underneath your feet. So for your foot, for the soul, your foot, your soul, the love of your soul, right? If you put your foot on it and you roll the bottom of your foot over it, I'll show you that in a minute. It is so great for plantar fasciitis and just for tired feet and just for your muscles in your feet to keep them very, very busy. We've got a lot of bones in our feet and we have to keep them busy. So I'm going to show you a couple of things today that we are doing with this. So let's get ready. Let's get our chair ready. Let's get our mat ready. Pull our hair up, take our clothes off and get going. So do it with me. If you have a chair and a mat and everything available there, um, and then we'll go do a little bit of these things that you can do with the bed. So let's start with this Dyna bed. I want you to have that in your hands, but always I say, let's fold it over. So if you fold it over and you have it about one feet apart, your hands, then you can use it for flexibility. So you take it up over your head and you're just going to go gently with that thing sideways. So it feels really good when you start the day, just to stretch out a little bit like this and just to stretch out a little bit the other side. We're just stretching out. And I'm also always really big on pushing your hips out forwards just with your hands in your lower back here, not really bending backwards, pushing your hips out forwards. Or you can take this and just go a little bit over your head as well, right? So really stretching out through that upper body. And if you want to stretch your shoulders, then you just go over your head back. You see what I'm doing there? Just over my head back, all the way back towards, you know, getting those shoulders a little stretch so sideways sideways backwards into a little back bend and we can also pull them behind us and really try to lift our hands up a little bit here that is very good of course for our shoulders as well and i always say there's two kinds of pain if it hurts really bad don't do it if it hurts so good do more of it all right so we can do all these single stretches we keep with these bands in different ways. I use them when I lay on the floor, put my foot in it, and really kind of pull my leg whoop, off the floor with my foot in it. So that way, if I would lay flat on the floor with my back, then I can put my foot in there and stretch my leg out and really get a good stretch for the back of my leg. Um, so for my hamstring, it's a really good hamstring stretch. So I can use those bands in a simple variety of exercises that are great to do if you just get off the couch for a little bit and you have this sitting under your television already. You get on the floor, you put your foot in it and ooh, stick that foot behind your ear, right? It always feels so great. So these tiny bands are great to work with for flexibility and just doing those basic things. And just to stretch out your neck in the morning, you could just pull your head over to the side gently. Give it a couple of breaths here. I'm going a little faster just to explain some things today. But if you do it in your own tempo, then please take a little longer. But here, I would take it about 30 seconds or three deep breaths and just do that to feel good, right? Get a deep, nice stretch in the shoulders. And I always say, just drop your chin on your chest and rub it out a little bit. But I keep my shoulders exactly where they are, keep my shoulders in place. So if I do that, then I'm not collapsing forward, but I keep a nice and tall posture. So I want to stand up straight at all times so that my shoulders fall in place behind me and I have a straight, straight, nice, tall posture. I work on that a lot and there was a lot of shows and there are a lot of shows that I did on posture. So I will keep incorporating that in all our exercise talks and all our movement talks. Because having a good posture is not just supporting you in your exercise program, but it's also really good for your mind.
because it just makes you feel stronger and taller and it increases your confidence, your self-esteem levels. It just feels good to do that straight up kind of thing, right? Sometimes we're blah, and so when you recognize that, the answer is whoop, kind of pull it back and stand up straight. So this is also good for strength. I'm going to show you a couple of really simple things that I do a lot in my classes, in my exercise and yoga classes. And even just for strength training, we're all talking about strength and flexibility. Take it in front of you, leave your shoulders down, and just pull it apart. And now just keep the tension on it. So I start immediately feeling that in my shoulders, trapezius muscles, deltoidius muscles, just really feeling that all the way. I want to keep my arm as straight as possible and just put the tension on there, just with that dyna band. And it feels really good to do. I can do it a little bit higher as well. It's a little bit of a difficult work, different workout to put it over my head and just feel that I can open and pull back and open and pull back and wider and pull back and wider and pull back. So these are such good things to work with. And always just do a little, push yourself a little bit, but like I said, don't overdo it. It is not necessary because we definitely do not need any injury in our shoulders. Arr, that's the last thing that we need. Now, if we want to make some biceps, then what we're going to do is we're going to put this Dynaband single mode underneath our feet. And I'm just going to pull it up, right? with my forearm, just my forearm, so that I can also put the tension on there. If I want to make it a little bit easier, I just release a little bit more of the band. And if I want to make it tougher, I roll it up a couple of times and make it a little bit more, um, make it harder, right? Make it just increase the difficulty level there because I'm putting more tension on the band. So that is great for your biceps. Ooh, I can feel that. And now if I'm going to be my triceps, again, I'm going to take some more of the outside of the band here. And I always like to fold it over because this way it gives me a lot and better resistance. And I have to hold on to it. I'm going to put it on my lower back, just right above my glutes. And the other elbow stays right next to your forehead or next to your ear, I would say. And I'm going to keep this off my t-shirt, but gently on my back, I'm going to just hit the ceiling with my, with my pinky. I'm going to hit the ceiling with my pinky. I want to stabilize as much as I can in the shoulder and upper, uh, and, and upper arm. And so just my pinky is hitting the ceiling and I'm putting tension on that band. That is a great exercise for your arms and for your triceps. So biceps and triceps right there. And you can feel that immediately and you can just do that traveling with these little bands. So amazing for strength training, simple exercises. Keep it simple, do it everywhere, anytime you can. You can also have these smaller bands. They're a little more difficult to hold on to, right? I really have to do that here with my hands, so I have to have strong hands for that. But these are, of course, great if you're sitting down and they're just kind of a little circle here. And now I'm gonna work a little strength for my legs. And I'm gonna push this. And I'm gonna sit on the corner of the chair. I'm gonna put the bands and I can just above my knees, right? You always wanna be very safe with the knees. And I'm gonna just push open and close with my legs. And if I do that in walking mode, oh my, this is also gonna work my legs really well, right? Or pushing it out and holding on to something. You see how I'm really working the full lateral side of my leg just by pushing the band aside. So these little exercises are great to do all over. I'm going to show you what I do with this roller and what I can do just to get my feet relaxed here. I always want to sit on the corner of the chair and I just roll the bottom of my foot wherever I am. I can do this at work and I can do this at home and I'm just rolling it out 
oh, feels so good. I just lately, or later, um, later, no, just the other day, not later, just the other day I had a uh, client in my yoga class and she had terrible pain, bottom of her feet, so I gave her one of those and uh, she said a couple of days later it was gone. And sometimes we just have to realize that we have to roll it out a little bit, keep those muscles loose, very good in your yoga classes, very good for people with uh, uh, pain in their feet and if you're standing all day, right? You're just going to want to loosen it up a little bit. And also, if you have some nerve problems, if you have neuropathy or anything like that, this is, um, or anything of that kind, then this is good for your feet. Yeah, so kind of roll them out when you can and get yourself a little roller. And then, of course, I have the squeeze ball. We talked about that. And I have the tennis ball that I use to sit on. Now, I'm only doing one at a time for my sciatic nerve pain. Only doing one at a time. One side at a time. So my bad buttocks is the right side, my right side. Because I have, that's, uh, that kind of, that, that right hip is going a little bit uh, down the hill. So I feel that sometimes I feel that all cramping up. And what happens, pain management thing here, what happens that if our sciatic nerve gets a little bit irritated or compressed because we sit a lot or we sit wrong or we just kind of hang a little bit on the couch, then that compression irritates the sciatic nerve and the, the, the flow of it, right? So when we have that, we all the muscles around that due to that pain are going to go, Arr! and they're all just wanting to protect that whole area. So now our lower back muscles and our hip muscles are all, Arr! you know, in that, in, that, in that tight mode. And then we get more pain. So instead of loosening it up a little bit, we're stressing out more. And we're just going to go Arr! more, 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 more cramped up. So that simple set, right? But you, you get the message. So if we have a ball, for instance, and we cannot exercise and you cannot roll it out on a foam roller, and I show that in another show, what to do with the foam roller. But if you have a ball, it's kind of like a mini tactic here. I'm going to sit on it and I'm going to put a dent in my piriformis muscle. The piriformis muscle is kind of like in that area underneath the gluteus and what happened to that piriformis muscle when it's real tight? It won't loosen up and it gives us more pain. So we have to loosen that muscle up a little bit. You always feel that in your hip immediately. And so that's what this ball is for. So I'm sitting on my chair or on the couch and I'm kind of tucking that just right next to my sit bone, right next to it. So I have that sit bone a little bit sticking out and I put the tennis ball right next to it. And then whew, that muscle gets pushed up a little bit and has to release. And that helps tremendously. Don't want to do anything too long. You just want to do it while it feels good. It might hurt a little bit in the beginning, but it's kind of like a good pain. And that's what you can do with the tennis ball. And then, of course, I use the tennis ball for anything else. It's kind of rubbing it out. If I have pain or tightness in my shoulders, this way too. I can do all kind of rubbing with it. This, the, the side of your leg, right, when that hurts, I can do a lot of work with that and just rubbing that ball out with it. It's the same thing. Every time we roll, we release and relax the, the muscle and we release and relax the, the tissue. So there is, there is a whole different thing about that relaxation of uh, and tightness of the outer layers there, right? So that's what we do, for instance, with a roller. But we'll talk about that some other time. Now, if we talk about simple stretches and flexibility, last week or two weeks ago, I worked a little bit on standing exercises. Simple exercises that we can do for flexibility here for ourselves. I'm just going to sit on always on the edge of the chair, and I'm just having my legs a little bit wider with my feet straight underneath my knees. I'm just going to hang forwards and fully relax the lower part of, so I can hang on and I can go a little deeper and go all the way to the floor so that I really hang forwards, really all the way to sliding down my legs. 
And of course, it's always so important to let go of your upper body, your upper back, and your head and your neck. Because that adds on a nice little weight to full yield to relax. I'm always twisting on a chair because twist is so important. I'm just using the chair with a straight back to twist my back. So the twist is really important all the time. We want to go around the hips and the hips are stabilized. And it's easier to do if you're sitting down because then we don't have that urge to move our hips with the twist. We want to keep the upper back and the lower back both flexible and both independently moving. So that's really important. So again, today, just a few exercises that we can do together and that we can do at home. And I hope you get some ideas. So it is not all of it. Of course, I had this one. And what I do, uh, I'm just gonna rub out between my shoulders and rub again, all right? So we do a lot of this rubbing here and we do a lot of the relaxation and flexibility. Today, just a few ideas again. I'm certain I'm gonna do a lot more shows on what you can do at home and what kind of exercises you can incorporate in your daily life. And I hope that you bring me questions or anytime just reach out on my uh, website, of course, and, um, and sign up for the latest and the newest on my website. If you have any injuries already, be very safe and make sure that you go through the procedures of safety and good, good posture. And I have spent a lot of previous shows on good posture and safety because that's number one. And sometimes it's easy kind of to follow somebody online, but it's still really difficult to do it the right way and sometimes to feel it yourself. That's why I love so much working with you in person because it always makes it so easy, right? To have uh, the ability to correct somebody in place. So if you have guidance and if you have somebody helping you, please let them. But if you need to do it by yourself and you kind of get the heck of it and you feel the benefits, then do a few things at home and do them anywhere you can. Hold on to something always and lift one leg up. Just anywhere you are. Always be close to the wall for your balance training. But just kind of lift up a leg and maybe stretch out, right? Make the flexibility of the leg or maybe just kind of hold a little mini tree wherever you are. It's not about the leg coming so high up, but it's about the standing leg because the standing leg, we want to strengthen the standing leg and we want to practice our balance. And so I can spend so many shows talking about this. I love what I do. I do what I love. And I love being here with you on winwinwomen.tv. And we are amazing, amazing group of women. My, my, my women around me are amazing on Win Win Women TV. And we all have such interesting, fun, great content for you to talk about. So many things to learn so much experience all together and i just love being here and doing this and being part of this great great thing so i hope you will tune in next week as well i will see you then and it is alien han alien han you can see my name on screen alienhan.com so reach out and i would love to have some feedback and see you next week love to that you're here Make it a wonderful and amazing day. Make it an amazing day, I always see. say. And don't forget to exercise. Don't forget to move a little bit. Because my thing is, hashtag, don't take something, go do something. That is a good step into feeling better, moving better, and overall health. Thank you for being here today. And thank you for tuning in. Aliens Joy, see you next week.